schwer zu erkennen, stehe ich gerade eben neben Mario Barth. Jeder wird ihn kennen, brauche ich gar nicht großartig vorzustellen. Danke für deine Zeit, Mario. Ich weiß, du hast hier super viel zu tun und super viel Stress. Du bist Veranstalter der Tattoo Convention, du bist Tätowierer, ähm, Farbenhersteller für, von Intent, Supplier, Filmproduzent und, 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 und. Fangen wir an mit der äh, Biggest Tattoo Show on Earth hier im Mirage. Kannst du uns kurz erzählen, äh, wie es dazu kam, dass es überhaupt im Mirage stattfindet? Ich mein das ist jetzt das dritte Jahr in, in Las Vegas. Wir haben ja. die, die erste Show in Las Vegas gehabt, äh, vor, vor drei Jahren in der Mandalay Bay. Leider haben wir am Anfang noch nicht die Stärke gehabt, dass wir ins Mirage gehen. So die Mandalay Bay, weil ich das Tätowierstudio dort gehabt habe, hat sie bereit erklärt, dass wir die Tattoo-Show machen können. Ja. Jetzt, wo wir King Inc. in, in dem Mirage haben, hat sie das, die, diese Türe aufgeöffnet. Und jetzt sind wir in dieser I mean, Prunkhalle eigentlich erinnern. Ja, ja. Ich mache weiter zu Mario Barth, dem Tätowierer. Okay, kein Problem. <lacht> äh, du bist jahrelang im Business. Ähm, kannst du uns erzählen, wie du angefangen hast mit dem Tätowieren? Ja, ich habe das erste Mal tätowiert, ich war zwölf Jahre alt. Wir haben Freunde gehabt, wir waren in einer kleinen Gang. Äh, jemand wollte einen, einen, einen Totenkopf haben. Wir haben diese Tätowierung gemacht, wir haben das auf der, auf der Fuhren gemacht, auf der Hound. Und äh, sind seit, seit dem Zeitpunkt ist es immer weitergegangen. Okay. Und dann natürlich... Wie jeder andere, wir fangen an zum Reisen, gehen um einander, machen mehr und mehr, gehen auf Convention, versuchen sie weiter zu bilden. Und es ist jetzt die letzten 30 Jahre. 30 Jahre lang, Chef. 30 Jahre, ja. ja. <lacht> Lange Zeit. Ja, ja. Aber es ist noch immer gleich exciting, es ist, wie wenn es am Anfang gewesen wäre. Ja. Passion. Gleiche. Tattooing's been very good to me. Yeah. You know, crime didn't pay. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's just, you know, I just, I love tattooing. I mean, I love the whole aspect. You know, and when I started tattooing, nobody really thought about doing pretty pictures. I mean, I like it in a way, but it's almost too sanitary. You know, it kind of loses the whole feel of tattooing to me. You know, to me, tattooing is maybe, you know, me and you just getting a, putting a little outfit together and going up, maybe going to a park or going to an alley somewhere behind your favorite bar and just putting a little something on each other. Good. You know, a tattoo is a mark that, 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 that actually marks a time and space in your life. Yes, that's you know, right. you don't really think about it being like this dramatic, beautiful artwork, <laughs> right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a little metal, it's a little, It's a little like a little diary. It's 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 you know kind of taking your inside and putting it on your outside. You like I ain't nobody special. I'm just me. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So maybe can you tell me something? When when did you start tattooing? I started tattooing in 1952 in Coney Island, New York. That was the biggest amusement park in the world at that time. And electricity had only been in existence a short time. And Coney Island was all lit up with lights. And people came from all over the world to see Coney Island. And I went there to get a tattoo. And I got very interested in tattooing. And the old man that was doing it there taught me how. Tattoos then were 50 cents and up. Really? Yes. And a bottle of rum or what? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> When I first started tattooing, there was three colors, black, red, and green. Well, the old tattooers, the great tattooers of yesterday, we used to draw pictures, pictures that you could do in just black and red to make them look nice. And we thought if we had all these other colors, I mean, instead of drawing a black panther, we could draw a tiger, orange and yellow and bright colors. <laughs> so I worked on that, and I met this chemist, and he also worked 
for, for, for uh, the cosmetic companies making lipstick and rouge and eyeshadow. So he knew what pigments would be safe to put on the skin. And I worked with him and we developed the colors of today. トラデーションがある伝統的なものなので方法は変わりませんがしかしインクやマシンどんどんいいものになってきているという感じはしますね Uh, my name is Terry Tramp Welker. I own Eternal Tattoos and Eternal Ink. We're based out of the Detroit area. Been around 31 years. And the inks, we've been around for eight years. When I first started, I, I've been making inks since the 80s. And uh, when I first uh, started with Eternal, I started with 31 colors, put them in the hands of the artists and asked for their feedback. If they liked them, tell me. And if they didn't, tell me why not. And uh, it just took off real well. The feedback was great. Then we have eight new colors that maybe you haven't seen. Some really shades. Uh, uh, one of them is uh, smoke. That when we made the color, boom, man, it tastes like we, we sell out of it every show. Oh, Cotton candy, amazing. which is kind of like bubble gum. Yeah. Uh, they're very fun colors to work with uh, for highlighting and, and for a background. And um, our biggest thing is our consistencies, giving the artists the same consistencies. So each time, if they run out of a color and they order a new color, getting that same perfect color match. So when that color is needed again, we can do the perfect match each time. It's just it's such a such a so many good artists and so many different different colors that everybody wants something different, and uh, we try to make it work for everybody. And uh, what do you think about the Las Vegas convention? It's big. <laughs> it's really big. Right now it's really cold, but uh, other than that, it's really big. There's so many people. There's so many people walking around and so much stuff to look at. I mean, I don't even want a tattoo. I just want to go around and look at everybody's stuff also and see what everybody's doing and find inspiration, which at every convention there's always inspiration, but definitely at a show this level and this big, there's a lot of stuff around that you're just like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? So it's really cool. It's very big convention. It's I think so first runner up, uh, fourth biggest convention in the world. So if somebody wants to do professional this business, have to visit the Las Vegas show. One sentence for the Vegas convention. Uh, don't come here if you don't want to party. If you want to work seriously, don't come to Vegas, okay? <laughs> Kidding. Great show, great show. Oh, that's the third year that I'm doing it. They changed the location. Location is awesome. I like it a lot. Uh, a lot of work. Crazy girl going around. Uh, this is Vegas, you know. So I shouldn't say what happened. How's the convention? Because they say what happened in Vegas, stay in Vegas. Okay, but we want to advertise it. It's a good show. Tattoo Soul, die Plattform für professionelle Tätowierer.